think some of the guys kind of, Davion kind of came away with, but maybe having taken some stuff out of there, what do you think this team was able to glean? Well, I hope they took some stuff out of it, both good and bad. I mean, to go on the road against what I think was the best team we played all year and really control the game for, you know, 37, 38 minutes is a, is a credit to our guys and their preparation. And then, you know, the, there was obviously some things we have to learn from the last couple minutes. Uh, I think we got sped up. I think we panicked a little bit. Uh, and then had some breakdowns defensively that we didn't have all game. So, you know, we, we'll learn a lot off that film and hopefully carry it over to this next game. Do you think the youth maybe showed a little bit on the road, you know, getting the Big East road trip? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's youth. Uh, you know, we had a lot of guys out there that played a lot of basketball for us at the end of the game. So I'm not sure it was necessarily young guys, but it's it's a tough environment to play in. And, uh, you know, we unfortunately we – allowed them to make a run that got a, got their crowd in the game around that 10 minute mark and up to that point we'd, we'd done a good job of keeping that in check. On the bright side, you guys have <coughs> a pretty great start. First half has been outstanding. What, what's been the difference there uh, coming out of the gate the first half versus the second half? Well our execution has been better in the first half really on both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, we have the defense in front of our bench the first half, so we can kind of help the guys with some of the things that are coming. Obviously, they're they're on an island down there on the other end by them by themselves the second half. But you'd like to think that offensively we should be a little bit more efficient the second half with the offense in front of us. And um, you know, we took some quick shots, had some uncharacteristic turnovers. Uh, you know, we turned it over three times the first half and nine the second. If we only have three turnovers again in the second half, we win the game. So sometimes it, you complicate it, you put a lot into it. But if you're going to turn the ball over and give teams as good as Seton Hall extra opportunities you're asking for. Damian said, uh, you know, and you've mentioned it too about the game sped up or whatever. How, how do you slow a game down in those situations? Well, when the, you know, when, when the when the cost of poker goes up and, and the time is, you know, it, it's, a, it's a heated moment in the game, you have to really trust your teammates. And I think our guys are not in a selfish manner. They're just trying to take more responsibility on their shoulders and go make a play for our team. And at that stage, that situation the ball needs to move a little bit more and you need to trust the guy next to you and, and understand that you know sooner or later that'll come back to me and, and you know I'll get a good look at the basket but uh, you know I don't think uh, I certainly don't think our guys are selfish but I think we just tried to do a little bit too much. It's a long season um, do you try to tell the guys hey just two more days you get to turn around and face another quality team? I'll tell you what we got two more days here for the next two weeks I think uh, you know I think it's a game and two days of prep and a game until January 10th if I'm not mistaken so uh, and, uh, you know, we've seen what's happened in the Big East in the early going. There's a lot of good good teams, and we expected that. Um, and, you know, the, the key is you got to find a way to protect your home court. And obviously, we've got a, a Providence team that just played the best game of their season uh, in their last game coming in here tomorrow. What is um – what defines this Providence team from what you've seen so far? What do you have to be good at to slow them down? Well, you've got to be good at everything because they're, they're always sound defensively. Uh, you know, Ed always changes defense, tries to keep you off balance. And then offensively, they, you know, they may run more set plays than we do. They run a lot of them and, uh, you know, really try to pick on your weakness defensively, find that uh, where they think they have a mismatch, and they really try to exploit that. So, you know, we have to try to try to cover that up the best we can. But they, they shot the daylights out of the basketball. Uh, I'd say John's made 11 out of 16 threes in the second half, and I'm not sure if they're playing the Lakers, if if the Lakers are going to beat them on that night when you shoot it that well. So we, we've got to get to some of those shooters and make sure they don't get in rhythm. Marcus, okay. Marcus. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Nothing. Yeah, he's fine. He's kind of a scare. Kind of a little bit of a drama queen. No, I'm just kidding. He's, he's, he, he's fine. It scared him. You know, he, he bent it in a way that he never, never has before. But he told me right away there was no pop. Uh, which is usually good news. So it's uh, you know that trip could have been a lot worse. <laughs> what what did the um, the last three minutes of the other night teach you guys? What what kind of teachable moment was you was that for you guys down the stretch? Uh, it taught us a lot. You know we got to stay consistent with the game plan that the coaches give us, and uh, taught us that sometimes we got to slow down uh, and just uh, keep our pace and control the game a little bit better. On the bright side, what does it tell you guys about your starts? Because you guys have been fantastic out of the break. How do you bottle that for 40 minutes? Uh, we, we really stepped on them early. You know, it taught us that uh, we, even uh, away games, we uh, we can control the tempo, you know, and uh, we come out really strong. But it also taught us, on the, the other hand, that uh, we got to uh, end games a little bit better. 
How valuable was this for younger guys? Obviously, you guys are kind of mixing and matching. You've got some youth in the roster. How valuable is a trip to Seton Hall when, when you guys play them that close to open Big East play? Oh, it's, it's very valuable. You know, it shows that uh, every game is going to be hard, especially uh, away games. Uh, the Big East is, you know, a very tough conference. And uh, from the jump, it, it shows that every night is going to be a uh, barn burner. Is there a degree of, of relief that it only only two days before you get to kind of turn around and maybe wash it clean? Oh, yeah. You know, uh, uh, fortunately, we get to play another good team, you know, uh, get another chance at a, a Big East uh, game, you know, so uh, it'll be very fun again. Hopefully we'll win this one. For you personally, uh, what did the other night mean? I guess, you know, kind of match maybe a career high and, and, and do pretty well, I guess, on the floor yourself. What'd you, what, what would you grade yourself? Uh, well, we lost the game, so uh, my grade, I feel it wasn't good enough. You know, uh, I got, you know, I feel good. I saw some shots go through the net. Uh, that helps my confidence, you know, uh, gives confidence in my team that uh, we can make shots and get things done. But, you know, I don't really want to grade myself at all. We lost the game. So. Have you been feeling more comfortable, though, on the offensive end as you mature through this another time, another season? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, just getting older, maturing, and seeing something. You know, everybody, if you see something once, you'll know uh, the next time. So that's that's how I take everything right now. Um, I've been through it one time. I got my experience. So uh, now I just learn from everything every night.